Hello, this is Zach Hale, and I want to show you an app I've been working on. Uh, it's a metronome app in Maximus P that allows you to do uh, a list of multiple time signatures and tempos, and then some weird time signatures that maybe you see uh, in more contemporary scores like Brian Ferninghow and such. So here's the app, and some of the things that I think that are interesting and good about it and different are. Uh, here, so we're going to load in a score, which I'll talk about later, but we're going to have a length. So we can say, I want to start from measure 5, say, to measure 12, right? And we're just going to do that amount. So if you want to practice just a short amount of uh, measures, then you can do that. Uh, it's going to tell us the time signature where they're on in this score, uh, the measure, the beat, and then also. Uh, something that I think is very effective uh, with practicing is you can do it slower. And that's different than if you just make a click track that's a sound file in Logic or something. Uh, you would have to save it at multiple tempos if you want to practice those. But this, I mean, you can just scroll through and do whatever tempo you want. And then if we go over here, I was working on this for somebody who wanted multiple tempos and that they wanted to do it in a live situation. So in this case, you could load in one score for one, and if you hit two, you can see some things change, because um, that's loaded into it, and three, and so forth. So how it works at the moment is that we have this kind of text-based score that um, eventually you'll be able to customize yourself. But for this piece, I just have a bunch of different things uh, that I was using. So. Uh, just to start off, so here's the first measure. Now it starts at zero because that's how most programming languages, including Max, work. Is the first thing isn't one, it's a zero. Uh, but I compensate for that over here by adding one to it. So one here is going to be zero here. Um, Twenty-five, right, is going to be, or is that yeah? Twenty-seven is actually going to be this here. Um, so how it works is, so this is measure 0 or 1, and then we have the top part, so 2, and then the bottom part, which is 4, so a 2-4 measure, and then this optional third number is the tempo of that bar, and that'll just keep going until you hit another one. So we have th typical things like 2-4, four, 4-8, four, and then we have some more strange things like 4-10, 420, 512. So what does that mean? If you think about it, if we have a whole note, and this is how all time signatures work, and it I, took me a while to figure this out, but this is how it works, is everything's based on a whole note. So if we have four notes in a whole note, those are quarter notes, right? So we're going to have two quarter notes. Now 10 you don't see that often, but if you say, okay, I want to have 10 notes in a whole note, or a 4-4 four, four bar, right, because those are the th same thing, basically. What is that? Well, it's actually a eighth note quintuplet, right, because you have five eighth note quintuplets and a half note, right, times two. You get 10, 20, 16th note quintuplets, 12, Right, you put three triplets on each quarter note and you get twelve. So this is actually five twelfth or triplets. Right. And you'll even see this in some I know there's a, a Druckmann piece that has that, but he usually writes it like three four plus one triplet or something like that. Uh, but you can also write it like this. And the way I mean so since you know this, you can just basically do this with some math to figure out the time between the clicks. Right? So I'll just give you a demonstration. So say we're going to go from measure one uh, to measure, it's going to be six. And so the way I did this too is it's not actually going to play the measure that you have, like this note. So it's not going to play measure six. It's going to play through measure five and stop. So if we wanted to play measure six, we have to put seven. So that, and then if you click spacebar, that's how I have it right now. It'll start uh, at the first bar. So. Right. So 
so it stopped right there at this 412 bar. Um, so you can, and it's pretty reliable. I've when you get really fast, maybe like if I was doing like 30 second notes, you, you might hear it a little bit lag, but you know, I think that if you're not doing anything with Max, uh, since this is an app, nothing's changing, but I would be changing things in Max and adding things, and that'll mess with the scheduler. Uh, but if it's just an app like this, it's pretty consistent, actually. Um, and, uh, you know, of course, so we can do the same thing. Oh, we want to do it slower. You know, and it works really good. So, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, I want to, you know, add on to this and keep making it more customizable and that you can add your own scores and maybe uh, do multiple times, multiple things at once. You can have polyrhythms if you want to practice in a group. Uh, because, say, I have here, like, I have your output, so maybe we can have one for each person. So, if we want to do, like, the Zanakis, uh, like, Pleiad piece with the different uh, different like kind of tempos or different things going on sometimes you could do that but it's a future project and this is just the just the beginning so uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, you can email me if you want to use it and I hope it'll be a help to a lot of people thanks